Hi, I'm Daryl Jenis, and I specialize in defending people accused of driving under the influence. What we have here is a Drager EPAS 7410 Alcotest instrument. This is a police issue, and um, this particular instrument, the mouthpiece goes on like so. If we can get it, there it goes. And the person blows in this end, the breath goes down into the instrument, it comes back out, and it comes back out the exit port on the mouthpiece. The other style, an older style, the exit port is on the back. These are both Alcotest 7410 Plus instruments. This particular device has a design defect uh, in that the mouthpiece comes off very easily. When the subject has their mouth on it, it can come off. The police officer will compensate for that by putting his finger on top of the breath tube and having to blow in it, but unfortunately he will then cover the exit port. With this style, the exit port can be covered without even intending to by simply holding the machine with the mouthpiece in and extending it to the person to blow. Okay. We're going to take this 04 wet bath solution, we're going to blow it into this machine and see if it can read it within scientific tolerance. We're not going to cover the exit port. We have a 040 exactly on the money. Can you zoom in and see that? All right, having previously proved that the value of this solution is 040, without covering the exit port, we are now going to blow again into it, only this time we're going to cover the exit port. If you want to zoom in, what you can see is we got a 091 over the legal limit and more than twice, almost one and a half times the value of that solution. Showing, I would think conclusively, that this police unit False has the potential to be manipulated to falsely convict innocent people. And this is why you should never, ever take a breath test if you're accused of a DUI unless you're under 21. If you're over 21, you should never blow in one of these.